Full time at the Etihad and it's a comprehensive 4-1 win for Manchester City against Manchester United. De Bruyne twice for Man City and Riyad Mahrez twice for Man City doing the damage. Jadon Sancho did equalise for Manchester United on 22 minutes to make it 1-0 but you suspected that would be a short-lived situation and it was. In the end, Manchester City's dominance was evident all over the stats. For instance, to Manchester United's five shots, Manchester City had 24 shots and 72% possession as well. And in the second half, that shot count was Manchester City with 14, Manchester United with zero. So it was a complete mauling in the second half, it's fair to say. City are now six clear of Liverpool. Liverpool do have a game in hand. As for Manchester United and their fourth-placed ambitions, they continue to look dented, as they have done over the last number of weeks. Arsenal are now a point clear of Manchester United in fourth, with three games in hand, so potentially were they to win those three, could be ten points clear of Manchester United. Those two do play before the end of the season, but you uh, you suspect there'll need to be a reversal in both their fortunes for United to catch them at this stage. Let's bring in Brian Kerr, who was on commentary uh, for us at the Etihad. This was uh, like at Old Trafford, Brian, men against boys. Yes. Um Completely so. You gave the statistics there. The figures did it. When, when you said Manchester United five attempts at goal, what came into my head immediately was I'd say City at 25. So I was just exaggerating <laughs> by one. Yeah. You said 24. That's the, I, I think it was a imbalanced ratio five to one. That's how the game was played out. Possession similar. The um, overall assessment I'd say was um, Manchester City, Manchester United were outplayed out fought and out taught I think the manager he got it wrong in terms of the system in terms of trying to survive with a back four and two protected players in the midfield the two that he had and leaving Pogba and Fernandes to do their own thing and expecting two wide players now they, they worked hard today I've been critical recently of how, of the lack of work rate for Manchester United's wide players sometimes when it's Rashford sometimes Sancho and Rashford together but also Pogba today they tried but you know Pogba looks to me like a fella going through the motions that he knows he's not going to be with them next season and he's just doing a few bits and pieces but not over stressing himself didn't seem too upset to be taken off after about an hour in the game but Manchester City were just magnificent in the in the game just you know the patterns of play the choice of pass the excellent of the pressing the, like out of the four goals I think at least three of them came from them retrieving the ball in Manchester United's final tour, where there seemed to be lots of players around, lots of red shorts. Manchester City players in blue shorts were quicker to the ball, and immediately it's it's, it's quick forward pass, and then it's another touch and a run in behind. It just and it just the numbers there were too many of them for Manchester United to pick them up. It was all desperation stuff. Goalkeeper, you think De Gea made a lot of very very good saves because he had to. Edison didn't have to Manchester United a long way short of what's required they've sent, spent 1.1 billion pounds on players since Alex Alex's departure they won the league in 2013 and in the eight years since you know they've had a couple of second places but mostly it's been toward fourth fifth sixth two second places last year second place 12 points off City the last time they were second place they were 19 points off City uh, they've averaged over 20 points behind Manchester City over the last five years so and today they looked like that it's 22 points is the gap now and whether it extends or narrows between now and the end of the season that is the difference between them they're miles behind them at the moment and Manchester United are, are, are Manchester City are signing good players they don't sign too many duds you might say Jack Grealish hasn't justified over the 100 million 120 million whatever it was but today, he looked a class act in this team as well. They haven't made many mistakes. They made a few mistakes on the centre-halves over the years. Now they've got three very good centre-halves, and you could add uh, Ake into that. He wasn't available today. Stones and Port were, were brilliant. Diaz wasn't there. But they just uh, have so many good options. And Whereas look at Manchester United and say, where's the value in what they have? If they were to put them all up for sale, at the end of this season, who'll be buying them? How much would they? How much would they get? What return would they get on that investment of 1.1 million? Won't get much back for for Pogba. Would probably walk away for nothing at the end of the season. But the rest of them, 
there wouldn't be many great takers. I mean, you might get some of the Italian clubs taking them, hoping to snatch some of them, maybe some of the French clubs for 5 million, 10 million, that sort of mark, but not the sort of money they paid for them when they bought them. And uh, they're, you know, they're in a bit of a mess at the moment. It's all the talks about the manager and the new manager. What new manager will they get if they don't? They're not going to finish. Look, they're going to be struggle to finish the top four. I can't see them making it on the performance today. Not just today's performances. Performances overall went into the match four wins, four draws before today. Say, so, well, unbeaten and eight in the league. Yeah, but the four draws cost you eight points. It's it's not enough. It's not good enough. And today they met a, a class team, and they were substandard and way off it. Just about hanging in in the match. Manchester City though take the glory today and deservedly so yeah. Bernardo Silva Foden De Bruyne that little trio towards the centre forward position without any of them being in the centre forward position were just outstanding I'd heard some talk in the build up to this difficult period for Manchester United and well it was more just clinging for some kind of hope than anything based in reality and it was almost suggesting well maybe against the better teams because they had been as you said average in some of those four draws maybe against the better teams They'll counter-attack and they'll surprise us. And actually, you just watch today. They are just so far away from doing that. And, you know, the, to, to your point about the 1.1 billion, how many Manchester United players would get in that City eleven today? None. Yeah. None. There's, no, there's nobody. I mean, you know, right across the whole team, there wasn't, there's not one player you could then make a case for. Bruno Fernandes is, is back to what he said about me earlier in the season. Too much hands in the air, blaming other people, blaming the referee. He tried like he chased in the first 20 minutes, trying to close down from the centre forward position. But probably it was half hearted. There wasn't the support to it. It wasn't, you know, concerted and concentrated it wasn't organised and disciplined enough to be effective it went on for a while and then City began to play through it but no there's no you know they were short for on today would he made a difference maybe slightly I doubt enough but might have played with the three centre halves and five at the back had he been fit they were now Ronaldo that make much difference I don't think so Ronaldo wouldn't have, would have hardly had a kick of the ball today because they needed players with energy to get around the pitch and he wasn't going to contribute to that Cavani might have made a bit of a difference had he played he gives you a focal point and he runs around and he chases but overall you know you're talking about 35 and 37 year old making the difference and Varane he's not, he's not getting younger he's still quite young enough to make a real contribution at this level but the, but they're overall they're, they're, they're way over, off it but the, you know today we talk should be talking about the brilliance of Manchester City yeah. and and like the patterns of play, the understanding of where each one is. I'd love, the positions. I'd love, I'd love, I just would love to know how Guardiola does this time and time again with these teams. It's just so impressive. Yeah. It's and, and, and what, and what, what, like, what interests me about it is they're not the most physical looking team. I said it when they get a corner kick, they're depending on Rodri Stones and uh, Laporte to attack the ball and yet they come up with a way of scoring another brilliant goal from a set piece today where they have those big guys there it's a bit of a run to the near post but then a deadly uh, pick out from De Bruyne to Mares right onto his foot make sure that they've all the Manchester United players engaged and marking or attracted in towards their own goal line or six yard box and he comes up with that but you know, it, it's it's a bit around the non-physical players. Like, I'd say, I don't put De Bruyne as a big physical player. Bernardo Silva, certainly not. Mara is not. Like, Phil Foden, like, he looks like a, a, a little boy playing in the men's game. But it doesn't matter. They're just so dominant. The, so, the angles to make for to receive passes, um, the positioning to take up, their skill on the ball, the speed, it just... It's it, it's 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 magnificent to watch. I mean, I find them at times boring to watch when they're when they're so dominant in so many games where teams don't take them on. It, the game is it, it, they're going to score and everything. I find myself sometimes reading the paper when they're playing on the television. I just look up when they score the goal and see how many passes involved in it because it's so relentless and it, it almost they make it so easy looking. But when you see it in the game today against opposition that the match matters a big derby history between the clubs you know oh, antagonism between the two teams in the city all that all oh, historical reasons and you see the excellence of it you see how they can make some of the Manchester United players as you said would any of them get into the city team no yeah. no chance well hopefully worth the trip thanks so much for today appreciate it thanks Joe it was great to be here great. thanks a lot alright Brian Kerr there with Nathan Murphy Watching Manchester City 4, Manchester United 1 and that doesn't even tell the full 
story, to be honest. 